on June 13, 2010, an unprecedented event took place, honoring the ministry, dedication, and great accomplishments of Detroit's own Dr. Velman D. Stotts, pastor of Unity Missionary Baptist Church of 47 years. This man of great integrity, leadership, and vision, also known as the Chancellor for the Council of Baptist Ministers, was honored by prominent clergy at large and honorable city and state civic leaders. With hard work and continued perseverance and partnership with our own church leaders and political advocates, on this day, the street known as Tireman was renamed as Dr. Velman D. Stotts Boulevard. Featured speakers on the dais include Reverend Dr. Oscar King III. He came and he sang. He came and he encouraged. He came and he married. He came and he buried. And he came and he encouraged. Reverend Wendell Anthony, president of the NAACP Detroit chapter. Now, a lot of roads and streets that we drive on with names of individuals that we do not know. I don't know Mr. Woodward. I do know that one stops. I don't know Mr. Conner. I do know Dalvin Stocks. Also in attendance were Councilwoman Brenda Jones, State Representative Fred Durhall, State Representative John Nathan, Reverend and Mrs. Joseph R. Jordan, Mrs. Irma Wise, Judge Denise Lankford Morris, Moderator Sidney Griffin, Representative for the Mayor Dave Bean, Reverend Curtis Williams, Reverend E. Sprague, Representative for John Conyers, Roderick McClary, Sheriff Benny Napoleon, and more. To God be the glory. Just over 47 years ago, that a pastor, a young pastor and his wife, was called to Unity Baptist Church. And at that time, we were holding service in an old bank building on the corner over there, which is now a parking lot. During those 47 years that Pastor Stotts has been at Unity Baptist Church, a lot has happened. This neighborhood has changed. There were a lot of businesses, stores, and buildings up and down Tyreman, and right where we're sitting now. During those 47 years, a lot of the individuals in this community have moved about. During those 47 years, Pastor and Mrs. Stotts have served this community. They have served this city. They have served the state of Michigan without fail. And many of us who are here today, we are blessed that we have came up under the tutelage of Pastor Stotts. Pastor Stotts is a pastor's pastor. And the reason that we are here today is because we want to honor Pastor and Mrs. Stotts. We want to honor them while they are able to receive that honor. And what has happened is that they are being honored in such a way that our children, our grandchildren, and individuals who live in this city forever will know of Reverend Dr. Velman D. Stotts. And that's why we are here today. Pa Pastor Stotts is a very humble individual, as you know and I know. And we love Pastor and Mrs. Stotts, and that's why we're here today to honor them and to share our love with them. So we're not going to be with you long, but we, we definitely, definitely appreciate and we thank each and every one of you for taking time out of your busy schedule to be here to honor Pastor Stats, to whom honor is due. Thank you, Chairman Willis for those final remarks. I'm Trustee Hugh Williams, Chairman of the Trustee Board. And once again, I'm not going to repeat everything that Chairman has said. And he, Pastor has done fabulous things for us down through the years, and he's brought us a long way. And we just got to give him praise and just thank God we're able to, we're here and able to honor him while he's still present and with us today. Let's give him again a hand again. Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Felita Wilson, and 
myself and this handsome gentleman here, the forward Dr. Eden, we will be serving as master and mistress of ceremony for this affair. Uh, certainly we are here to recognize our pastor who has not only brought notoriety, honor, and dignity to Unity Baptist Church and this community, but this, rec this, sign this um, street signing is representative of 47 years of service to this church and to God. Now, we are customarily, customarily familiar with affixing names to outstanding buildings, schools, monuments, bridges. So, Reverend Dr. Stotts is in good company, would you not say? Amen. So, we are going to proceed with our program. Good afternoon. We're going to move to our program as, ex, uh, as speedily as we possibly can. And we're going to start off with our scripture, our prayer, and we're going to have uh, a song. I'm going to ask one of the, uh, I think Mrs. Harvey, see Mrs. Harvey, to come and lead us. And we've come this far by faith. Uh, you certainly don't want me to lead it because you'll be running out of here if, you, if, I, if I had to do the singing. So I'm going to ask one of the real singers to come. And, and sing. Uh, at this time, scripture, prayer, and our song. Uh, our scripture, Reverend Eduardo Sprague, pastor of Central CME, the prayer by Deacon Bernard Cummings, and at that, then we followed by the song. Good afternoon. reading the first three verses of Psalm 67 and Psalm 100 in his entirety. In good Methodist tradition, you may keep your seat. Hear the word of the Lord. God be merciful to us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us that your way may be known on earth your salvation among all nations let the people praise you O oh God let all the people praise you make a joyful shout to the Lord all you land Serve the Lord with gladness, come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gate with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name for the Lord is God. His mercies is everlasting and is truth endure it forever the word of the lord for the people of god praise be to god let us pray eternal god our father we come this afternoon first of all lord we come to say thank you, thank you. we thank you for life we thank you for health and we thank you for strength. It is stated that we make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. We thank you for uh, this man of God that has given his life to this neighborhood, to this church. We thank you, O oh Heavenly Father, for his dedication yeah, yeah. and we most of all thank you that he's here to see this dedication we pray oh heavenly father that you continually to bless him bless his wife bless his family we thank you oh lord for all that you have done for him and oh lord i read in Romans 13 and 7 where it says we should give tribute where tribute is due 
and to give honor where honor is due. Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus that you continually to bless this man of God. I say this man of God. We thank you, O oh Lord, for the one that had came up with the idea to present this sign to him. To make this sign on Tymon Avenue, Reverend Valman D. Sachs. And O oh Lord, we thank you for the ones that approved it to go forth with this sign. And Lord, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for Reverend Valman D. Stotts. Amen. Tell us you know these words, and I'll give them to you, and we will help you sing them. We've come this far by faith, leaning on the Lord, trusting in his mighty word. He's never failed us yet. Oh, 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 we've come this far by faith. Can't turn around. We've come this far by faith. So everybody, let's sing. We've come this far by faith. Leaning on the Lord. Leaning on the Lord. Trusting in His holy word. Trust in his He's never failed us yet. He's never failed me yet. Oh, oh. We're certainly delighted to have all of you here, and we, we're certainly we're very proud of this moment uh, in the history of our church and the history of this community. Uh, we're going to ask all of our speakers to be uh, as uh, brief as, they, as we possibly can be. Uh, we certainly know that you uh, have a lot to tell, but we can't tell it all here on this afternoon. So we, we're going to ask you to, to move, be very expeditious in your remarks. Uh, at the meeting, I was told that uh, Reverend Dr. Oscar King, who is the current president of the Council of Baptist Pastors of Detroit and Vicinity, had another engagement. And I see that he's here, and so I, uh, Dr. King, if you'll come and begin our uh, tribute. Thank you. Let's say amen for Dr. Amen. Oscar King. Let's hear from Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord, saints. I do beg your understanding. Our youth are out in the park. And they pews in the park. And they have on t-shirts and blue jeans. And they are eating watermelon and celebrating. And they are looking for their pastor. And, uh, but it is equally important that I be here with your pastor. To Pastor Stotts and to Mrs. Stotts, to the honored guest, uh, to the entire Stott family to all of the elected officials, to all of those who desire to be elected officials, to members of unity, members of the community, those just passing by. We, I am honored and I am humbled to be here on this occasion for my chancellor. On behalf of the Council of Baptist Pastors, of which I am humbled to serve, as the president. I stand to speak on behalf of your pastor who was 
also a former president of the Council of Baptist Pastors. He's a mentor of the council. He's a teacher of the council. He's a confidant of the council. He's a visionary of the council, and he is our chancellor, and he is a man of God. But there is no one more deserving of this honor, no one who is more humble, no one who is more dedicated, and no one who is more deserving than this great man of God. I'm closing. But we are here to dedicate a sign. But I am a preacher. And a sign is something, an indication that something happened. A sign is leaving a message. And what happened that we are celebrating? A great man came here a long time ago. He came and he preached. He came and he taught. He came and he sang. He came and he encouraged. He came and he married. He came and he buried. And he came and he encouraged. And as we said, we sang a song earlier that said, We came this way by faith. But I'm going to take my seat, but I want to tell you, I came by way of Tyreman Boulevard, but I'm leaving by the way of the Reverend Val D. Stott Avenue.